I have four versions of a Battlefield Cross on the website. And then there are two base options for each of those versions. So I guess I have eight versions actually. But I want to tell you about the origin of the Battle Cross. It actually started in the Civil War where they would, they would, they would stick the rifle down in the ground on a battlefield to identify the location of the fallen. Uh, in present day, the Battle Cross is erected in memorial service and it's kind of a formal uh, experience now uh, on military bases that they use the Battle Cross to honor each of the fallen. I, uh, I, I grew up during the Vietnam War and I remember seeing this image of the Vietnam Battle Cross and it wasn't in a formal presentation. These would be erected in the jungle. And I learned from friends who were veterans who experienced this firsthand that after a firefight, you know, they would immediately, uh, they would immediately load and evacuate the men who were killed in a firefight. And it might be days later when a chaplain would come through to that firebase and they would be able to stop and have a memorial service to remember their brothers. Uh, they would erect this battle cross in memory of their fallen comrades. And of course, the fallen were gone. Their weapons were already shipped out or reissued. So what happened a lot of times was that friends of those that were being honored would put their boots here. They would put their M16 and they would put their steel pot helmet and erect this cross in memory of their, of their friend in memory of their brother. I've seen pictures of 30 of these in a row in Vietnam. It happened in World War II, the M1 rifle and the steel pot helmet. And Vietnam was the transition from the World War II technology to the modern technology with the first version M16. They still had the steel pot helmet and still had leather jungle boots. And today, the modern battle cross has the Kevlar helmet and the modern M16, or the Special Forces version has the M4 and a beret. So uh, I really created these because it provides an opportunity uh, to honor someone. With, with a piece like this, it's very simple. It's on a walnut base. But if you put the name of the person you're honoring right here, it turns this little piece into a powerful emotional statement about remembering someone who is dear to you. Or you may present this to a family member in memory of their son, or present it to a child in memory of their father who died in Vietnam. You could, you could do the, the World War II Korea piece, uh, could be for grandfathers. So there's, there's just lots of emotion and uh, powerful opportunity here to make a, a strong statement to someone uh, that you care about. So when you look at the battle crosses, uh, consider how powerful that will be when you put the name on there. And uh, yeah, pretty cool.